I recorded a new introductory video yesterday that explains a little bit about who I am and what the program is that I have put online, the, the video uh, formats. Today, I just want to do a short one, which is anyone who's ever listened to me for any time period knows that's hard for me to do, but I am going to try to keep this short. Just explain the best way to use these videos. I started creating playlists, and in the playlist, I have them laid out day by day, things that I su suggest people watch. I want to point out, I think the best way to utilize these, and I talked about this in the intro yesterday, is to actually quit smoking, and the day that you quit, to start going through the day one videos. I just looked and there were like three hours of videos and you may not get through them all but try to get through as many as you can on day one and then you'll see a playlist for day two and a playlist for day three and I tried to gear things in those videos of things that usually happen in a 24-hour period, a 48-hour period although the first day I need to point out the first day has a lot of background information explaining the concepts of why you smoke and why you should stop. And I suspect there's going to be people who say, well, no, I don't, want to, I don't want to see some of this. I don't want to hear some of this. Even though it may be against your nature to want to understand this, the dangers of smoking, watch those videos and watch them at that point in time. Videos or no information is going to be able to scare you off of smoking for your lifetime. But the information, if really understood, will give you enough core information in the beginning to get your motivation up to realize you are fighting for your life. You, you might have a hard time those first few days. You might, you might not, but I want you to realize even if you are having some discomfort, what you are avoiding, the types of pain and problems and suffering that you are avoiding by quitting smoking, this information is important. And in the long run, I think the more you understand about these dangers, the more committed you will stay, again, of recognizing you really, you, you did fight for your life when you quit and it was a worthwhile fight. So try to watch those videos and then go through the day-by-day -day formats as they're laid out. Now, underneath the day-by-day -day formats, and the way it goes is you'll see an introductory session and then you'll see day one through day six and then you'll see the second week and then the rest of your life. And the, those, the rest of your life, you don't have to watch at any particular point in time. After the second week, you can just go through a few of those, you know, every, every few days. Then what I did is I made a section underneath those now, a new playlist, uh, one on relapse prevention. And I got to point out that those relapse prevention ones are also in those day-by-day -day formats. When I put that out there for people who aren't doing a day-by-day -day format, people who've quit already, they don't need to do a day-by-day -day format, so I'm trying to make sections to accommodate those people too. So you really, if you're going through the video lessons, you don't need to look at the day-by-day -day form, or you don't need to look at the relapse prevention one, and the uh, the consequences, those consequence videos, and that's a section that I have in there, the, the cost of smoking or the consequences, I, I forgot what I called it, but it's a, a playlist that also those videos are incorporated in the day-by-day -day lessons so you don't need to go through those. Now again people are coming in who have quit already and just using this for reinforcement never saw the videos sure go into those sections then and you can you know cherry pick the videos that you're looking for. So I, I just wanted to explain that I have um, one other section on quitting AIDS and I'll point out when I had people come into clinics I never really talked about quitting AIDS. They were, when they came into my clinics, they had decided that they weren't using quitting AIDS. That's why they were in my clinics. So in a way, a lot of those videos didn't even make it into the day by day because they don't fit in anywhere. You know, it's like the videos are designed for people who have decided they're going cold turkey. But now I put that section into uh, those videos into its own section of quitting AIDS for people who, you know, they're coming in and they're they're not looking at our program yet as a cold turkey program, but they want to understand what else is out there. And the videos that I put out are explaining my views and why I think there's real limitations to these quitting aids and why I don't believe they work and why I believe in many ways they will undercut a person's ability to quit. People who really want to quit using those methods are probably undercutting their chances. Others will disagree with that, and you know you can go under you can go read their understanding and their beliefs of why 
these are my beliefs of why these things don't work. So I just want to do this as a quick introduction then, and uh, I, I, just in five minutes, so that's good. Um, I hope you utilize these videos, and also for people who are seeing this who may have quit smoking using the videos, it'll give you guidelines on how to direct people who you know who are looking to quit or people who have quit. So I, I want you to have a little bit of a background too of you know the best way to utilize these videos now. Then also one other you know final comment that's also in the introductory video. If you then once through the videos use the articles in the library at whyquit.com. Those articles were written for people who had graduated the clinic. They were the long-term reinforcement articles. So those are there too. So once people have gone through the videos and they want to do things to reinforce over a long-term basis, then go to the whyquit.com um, Joel Library and you can go through the articles and use those over a long-term basis to reinforce a long-term quit. Okay, uh, I hope you find all this information helpful. Um, the, there's some new materials, and it's just a lot of the old materials laid out in a way which I hope is more logical and useful for people to uh, work with, to start their commitment, and to keep their commitment strong, to never take another puff.